subject to a vote when it comes to a challenge to someone's civil rights. We don't want a referendum. We want leadership. And as we look to the highest office in our state, we don't see leadership. We see abuse, we see bullying, we see all kinds of nasty tactics. And by the way, I want you to know, you know, he he throws a lot of insults at me, but I've been insulted by better people than that. Uh, the, uh, so, one time I challenged him to a foot race, and he hasn't responded yet, but it, the offer is still open, I can tell you that. Our governor remains beholden to his national ambitions in a Republican Party that doesn't support equality. And by the way, it doesn't support ability either. Uh, but you know what? We can go around him and get enough support to override his veto. Because I know that if we do it, this thing together, just keep pushing and not get discouraged. I loved hearing the people that were up here before, the families that were there and the and the children of the family bragging about their parents and their family and how good things are. So we can get enough support to override his veto, and we must do it. And I know that with your help, with your work, with your relentless drive, our voices are going to be heard and our actions are going to be supported. Now, in order to do this, we have to make sure that uh, we elect good people. John, uh, uh, Avenides. Oh, there he is. He's a good-looking guy. Looks tough enough to take the heat. So uh, we need we we need him in the Congress. And uh, you know, I, I I can't be here without uh, uh, mentioning Marcia. Uh, Marcia, she's still here. Yeah. Anyway. Always ready, always there for for people who are doing the right thing and who want to make a difference. Marcia, we're all obligated to you and love seeing you here today. So we'll uh, going to over uh, overcome this latest uh, roadblock. Uh, we'll move the legislation once more. We'll have marriage equality here in New Jersey. So let's sure make sure that the governor understands we're serious about this. And he can't uh, blow us away uh, with one of his insulting remarks. Uh, now, you know that, was it the governor who proposed something about baseball with you? Oh. Imagine. There she is. She's a fighter, and she looks <laughs> tough, and she is. And the governor said that we should take a bat to Loretta Weinberg. Some a, a woman in office doing the best that she can, sticking up for what's right for people, and having an insult like that come from him, uh, we would have expected nothing different. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but we're gonna make, we're gonna straighten out the record. I promise you that. Thanks everybody for the opportunity to be here.